Number 10, Lisa Ferris. In 2017, a 25 year old Alabama student named Lisa Ferris was picked up after walking along the highway. The person who found her saw that she was covered in scratches and bug bites, and it seemed as if she'd been in the woods for days. In reality, Lisa was wandering around the forest for a month all by herself. Police suspected that Lisa, who used to work as a waitress at Hooters, was high as a kite after she initially got lost. They believe that after taking meth, Lisa started suffering from severe hallucinations, causing her to walk off alone. It was later revealed that two men took the drugs with her. 31-year-old Manly Davis and 36-year-old Randy Oswald were relieved after finding out Lisa was alive. The two both believe that the other had killed her while high. After being taken to the hospital to get treated, doctors noticed that Lisa's skin was cracking all over from dehydration. It's a miracle the girl survived considering she's legally blind and didn't have any clothes on upon discovery. Davis and Oswald were arrested before she was recovered. The two had tried forcing their way into a hunting lodge, but failed. Davis said that Lisa jumped out of the car when they rammed the lodge's gates. On the other hand, Oswald said Davis had shot the poor girl before tossing her body in the creek. Investigators say the men were so high and paranoid that they were just blaming everything on the other. During her time in the woods, the former Hooters employee lost nearly 40 pounds. She told reporters that she's grateful for everyone who prayed for her and is just happy to finally be back in civilization. Number 9. Hot Wings We've all heard about waitresses spitting in rude customers' drinks, right? Well, one Hooters employee from Texas took things 12 steps too far with her dining patrons. 24-year-old Jessica Sinclair made headlines in 2022 when news of what she did to her frustrating customers went viral. There's all kinds of different and unique sauces for chicken, everyone knows that. With this knowledge, Jessica must have thought she could pull one over on people by dipping chicken wings down her pants before serving them. It's believed that the woman did this act both while she was on her period and off it. While some people might have thought their wings came with ketchup, the reality was much more disgusting. Her actions eventually went public and police took her into custody. She told authorities that only customers who were especially rude got her special treatment. We're not condoning what Jessica did in any shape or form, but this just serves as a deeply unsettling reminder to always treat waitstaff kindly with lots of respect. As the saying goes, don't bite the hand that feeds you. Number 8. Miss Hooters A tough competitor from the National Miss Hooters competition shocked everyone in 2019. Madison Rogers represented Tennessee in the pageant and wound up finishing in the top five, which is really good considering how many other girls she was up against. But while she was all smiles on stage, Rogers was dealing with some tough personal issues. Her boyfriend had recently broken up with her and Madison went to his apartment and broke in. The 21-year-old beauty queen went on to ransack his home, assaulting the young man and tearing up his personal items. The two had dated for over two years and it was obvious Madison was hurt by the breakup. During the attack, the ex called law enforcement after restraining the woman and taking her outside. When authorities got to the apartment, she'd already ran off. For a week, Rogers was on the run from the cops. Eventually, they caught up to her and took her into custody. She was held in jail until she made her $5,000 bond and was released. Even if she's walking free, it's unlikely she'll never compete in a beauty pageant again. Number 7. Jade Velez While on shift serving at a Hooters location in Philadelphia, 19-year-old Jade Velez claims she was sexually assaulted and mistreated. She started working at the restaurant in 2015, and after a few months, a male employee in the kitchen, Michael, started targeting her. Jade says that he would often ask her to break up with her boyfriend and make degrading comments about her body. When she went to the managers to complain, they'd never do anything to stop Michael. In April 2016, six months or so after Jade started at Hooters, things got worse. Then on May 13th, at the end of the night, she claims that Michael approached her in the back of the restaurant. He apparently cornered her to where she couldn't escape, then groped her. Terrified, Jade somehow managed to wiggle away to get a manager. You'd think after something so serious, they'd take action, right? Well, according to Velez, the supervisor on duty simply said that he'd leave a note for management to deal with it in the morning. With this, Jade walked out of the building. It turns out that the manager never even wrote anything down. In the morning, she called work to get an update on the situation, but they seemed confused. They told her that she no longer was an employee since she walked off the night before. This was the final straw. Jade filed a police report on the same day. 
Hooters did not comment on the situation and little information has been released on the results of this case. Hopefully though, if what Miss Vela said happened is all true, the restaurant will take instances of sexual misconduct more seriously for the safety of their employees. Number 6. Chocolate Chaos erupted outside of a Hooters location in Texas when an all-out brawl began. Two young boys were selling chocolate bars outside of the restaurant. Employees at the property asked the 10 and 13 year olds to sell somewhere else, but they got more than they bargained for. The kids immediately started throwing tantrums, pushing over furniture and throwing things at people. They eventually left and went to a car that was waiting nearby. Once the boys got to the vehicle, three adult men got out and stampeded back towards the restaurant. They violently attacked the Hooters manager as witnesses begged them to stop. The whole incident was caught on camera as the situation escalated further. One of the men picked up an ashtray from outside and swung it into a window. The glass shattered and flew everywhere, getting all over unsuspecting customers. After things settled down, a waitress was left with deep facial cuts from the flying glass while the manager dealt with a broken arm. Since all this happened recently, in October 2022, police are still investigating the possible assailants, and further information is limited. Number 5. Caught in the Act The main draw of Hooters restaurants are definitely its employees. Waitresses for the franchise are often extremely beautiful women who wear low-cut shirts and shorts during their shifts. Usually, it works out for the girls since a lot of men will leave big tips for good service, but sometimes, waitresses have to deal with the occasional creep walking in. In 2022, a Hooters worker named Lydia Warren went viral on TikTok after posting a video exposing a gross man. The customer in question was taking photos of waitresses without their consent. When Lydia noticed this, she started filming with her phone. In the clip, she says, This guy wants to come into Hooters and just take pictures of girls without asking. After the statement, she flipped the camera to the man, showing his face to millions of people online. Many users who saw the post praised Lydia for her courage in standing up to disgusting behavior. Former Hooters employees also chimed in, sharing similar experiences. Some men need reminders that just because a woman is beautiful and working doesn't mean you can film her or take photos without asking. It's part of common decency and respecting the people around you. Number 4. Vegas Many believe that Hooters is just a popular restaurant franchise, and while this idea is mostly correct, the company also has a large hotel casino in the gambling capital of the world, Las Vegas, Nevada. In August 2016, two men came up to employees at the establishment and threatened them at gunpoint. They said that they needed the money and demanded the workers bring it to them. One of the thieves was wearing a baggy gray sweatshirt boasting long dreadlocks that extended past his shoulders. The other was in a baseball hat and a white shirt. Video footage of the incident shows the two walking in as if nothing was out of the ordinary. They blended in pretty well until the gun came out. Suspects walked up to workers while they were exchanging money in one of the casino machines. After grabbing the cash, the robbers quickly fled the scene. The exact amount stolen was not reported, but police commend the employees saying they acted correctly given the situation. If they tried to stop the theft themselves, there is no telling who could have gotten hurt. Contrary to what many might believe, casino robberies like this don't happen that much. With so many cameras catching every angle of the high-rolling action and countless witnesses among the crowded slot machines, thieves are usually deterred. Even though this particular case happened several years ago, it seems the suspects got away with it and the police have still not figured out who they were. Number 3. Shots Fired In May 2019, a fight broke out at a Hooters restaurant in Augusta. Late on a Sunday night in the parking lot, surveillance footage picked up what happened. It's unclear what the argument came from, but the woman pulled out a gun at some point. A manager at the location named Avery McAlpine said that he was trying to give some customers food when the commotion started. A confirmed individual involved named Letitia Hill was holding the gun. She shot at a woman and hit her leg. Another girl nearby was apparently injured by the same shot. Her wound was in the knee. The victim's names were Crystal Merriweather and Leondo Ware. Police soon got to the scene to break things up. They took 28-year-old Letitia into custody and charged her with aggravated assault and possession of a firearm. 26-year-old Aisha Shahid was also involved in the scruff. For her role, she was similarly charged and held in the Richmond County Jail. Investigators found several more weapons inside the restaurant after the fight died down. So it's very lucky that the situation didn't even get more out of hand. Number 2. Flirting 
A Hooters waitress named Jody Tavares made a viral TikTok in 2022 talking about a customer who tried hitting on her while at the restaurant with another woman. In the video, she appeals to her followers to help find the poor girl. She exposes the man, saying that he tried giving her his phone number by writing it on the back of some wet wipes and leaving it with a tip. This all happened at the downtown Dallas Hooters location. Jody went on to say how so many men act unreasonable and gross when coming into the restaurant. She said that she doubted the guy was there with his mom, so she naturally assumed he and the girl were in a romantic relationship. People who saw the video and claimed that they knew the guy in question had a different story than the narrative Miss Tavares was spreading. They said that the man and woman were actually brother and sister, no romantic attachment whatsoever. Other users questioned the validity of this though, wondering why he went on to such great lengths to hide the phone number instead of simply giving it to the waitress. We may never know the truth because honestly, the guy probably doesn't want to admit who he was and face the embarrassment. Number 1. New Uniforms Hooters uniforms include a very revealing shirt that stays on brand with the Hooters experience. On top of these small pieces of clothing, servers are typically required to show up glammed out in makeup with their hair down nicely. In 2021, a waitress named Kristen Songer went viral on TikTok after showcasing the franchise's newest uniform update. According to a policy notice, all Hooters girls were instructed to wear new shorts. The only problem is that these shorts were more like thongs. The 22-year-old woman shared how uncomfortable the new outfit made her feel and how it showed way too much skin than the former assigned clothes. Many workers expressed their distaste towards the news, but in response, the Hooters Corporation simply said workers could choose to leave if they were unhappy. While many were unhappy, there were a few who liked the change. With the company's history of not taking women's concerns all too seriously, though, we aren't surprised by their response. What would you do if your work suddenly changed the uniform requirements to something you weren't comfortable with? Thanks for watching today's video. Have you ever been to a Hooters restaurant? Would you still go after hearing these stories? Let us know in the comments below. If you liked the video, be sure to hit that subscribe button to see the latest content. We'll see you later on Bad Badger.